So I'm mixing up some colour. Sort of a lot. I've been inspired by autumn. I love the colours of autumn. So I've kind of got a light, warm, pale, sort of yellowy brown colour. And then we're going to create a pattern with some bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play with this. Uh, bubble wrap doesn't last long <laughs> enough for me because I just end up doing what you do. I know. Do, bursting it, yeah. This one's lovely because it's miniature. It's got tiny little bubbles. I love standing on it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't stand on this piece. No, OK. OK, so I'm just going to screw it up in my hands and create like a tip with it and tuck it into the, the paint. And what I thought I'd do is a nice autumn tree because trees are lovely to paint and easy, very easy to paint. So if you create like a triangular shape, yeah. sort of pointy at the top and then coming down, so have a even, limb coming out to the side. You're not even using a brush, it's just scrunched up bubble wrap yeah, to make art. Yeah, that's it's genius. Right. It instantly gives you little bits, little leaves, falling leaves. See, if you tried to do that with a brush, you'd be there for hours. Yes, that's right, yes, yeah. And it's nice to be quick about it, I think. I wonder how many artists have actually <laughs> used scrunched up bubble wrap and then charged thousands of pounds for a, a picture. <laughs> we never know. <laughs> they might do, yes. But it's their secret. Yeah. They don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to create a ground with the same colour. Just a low, low ground. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm squeezing the brush very gently to get a little bit of water out. Yeah. There we go, get a bit more water out. And if you get a, a concentration of colour and just push it to the edge, if I actually go in with some paint as well, push it to the edge, you kind of get a bit of distance because you've got sort of stronger colour um, sort of further yeah. back. Love it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We need to let that dry. Can I use um, a heat tool briefly? Of course you can, yeah. Actually, I don't yeah. need to. I did one earlier. Did one I actually like that one better. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like that one better, but we can work with this one. OK. So this is one that I did earlier. So now I want to mix in, say, let's go for quite a red colour. And we're going to sort of build up colours of leaves. Just think about colours of autumn leaves and we're going to pick one by one. Some of them are quite red, aren't they? All just red, red in them. I think I need to tone that down a bit so I'll just add a little bit of brown. That's perfect. That's a nice bit more brown. And then we're going to go in. Same process again. You don't need a heat tool now, do you? No, oh, no. Because no. I did one earlier. Yeah, let, let the layers dry. I love the bubble wrap technique. That is just brilliant. It really is. You could you do know, it with a sponge, couldn't you? You could do, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or other, other things. At the end of the day, it's just a tool that you're using to put the paint down. Yes. Yeah. No one needs to know what it is. <laughs> exactly. Let's have a bit of water. Well, lots of you coming through for the 24 premium half pan watercolour set. It's only 17 99 Hello, Helen in East Dunn Partnership. Hello, Rosetta in the West Midlands. Loving the possibilities of this. And although you've got 24 colours, you've got probably hundreds of colours if you blend them together. Yes, yeah. And it's, it's nice to not use them directly, mix them yeah. on a palette, because yeah. you're, you're creating your own colour as well. So I want a nice dark colour. I hope the quality comes across. I think it does. Um, they are superb quality. Yeah. And I'm just going to add a little bit of green as well. Let's have a bit of all colours. So I'm going to create like a trunk now of the tree. So it comes down from the middle and sort of go flaredy outy at the bottom mm -hmm. just to sort of create some roots. Can you see this? OK, yeah, create some roots and then come up, up into the leaves. Have a few branches coming off as well. So it's supporting itself and all that canopy. And then just sort of in the sort of areas where there isn't so much leafage, let's add a few more um, 
branches. So the tree sort of appears hollow as well. Let's add another one there. So Sue has shown you all you need are Zela watercolour paints, a bit of bubble wrap, and your water brush that you've got in your palette anyway. And you could be doing this. Everyone can do it. Certainly can. <laughs> so I'm just creating a bit of shadow on the left-hand side of my tree by just getting a bit more depth of colour. Especially, so especially under the canopy as well. Okay. So good. So we let that dry. And then we can go in with another range of leaf colours. Perhaps a little bit more browner. Get sort of darker, slightly darker as you do the layers. Yeah. Use the same paint as well, but just sort of darken it. Don't start again. Just add different colours. Darker browns. Uh, might go for a bit of blue just to create a sort of darker, a darker brown tone. Just add a bit of blue. And it's just That's as much fun nice. mixing your own colours and making your own colours. It is, yes. Maybe yeah, you're familiar with the yeah. colour wheel, maybe you're not. Just have a little experiment. Mix, get the palette. You do get a palette with the actual uh, paint palette itself, with the actual um, half pan set. You do get a spare mixing palette. But if you want the larger one, which gives you a lot more space, a lot more scope, there's 17, is it 17 different sections? I think there is. 17, yeah. Um, then that's only three pounds and a few pence, if you want that. 3 Just It's just nice to have much more space to do your mixing and your blending. It is, yeah, especially if you do, you know, picking up paint with um, a bulky product, like a bulky thing like this. So now we're going to sort of look at the structure of the tree and create almost shadow under, underneath a bulk of leaves, like for instance, where you've done the branches. On the top of the branches, just create a bit of shadow. So it's the like with this section, it's like a group of leaves and you're just creating shadow and darker leaves at the bottom and like at the base of the tree. And yeah, go sort of further away. So it was almost like the winds caught some of the leaves and bringing them down. So it's, it's, it's building it up as you go. And again, let's add a little bit more water to get a lighter color. Let's add some of that color down the bottom because it's almost like shadows almost like reflections aren't they mm. so if you you're using the colors that i've used for the leaves it sort of gives let's go for a bit of the trunk color as well make it darker so the light is from the top right yes that's yeah. right yes yeah, so it's sort of coming from here and there and that that's pretty much it really i think you could sort of play around with it a little bit more and then this is again one that I did earlier. Not only has this been done in front of your eyes live on camera, it's used bubble wrap to do it. And yes, it just looks yes. so real. <laughs> it's brilliant. So